And despite the serious nature of today, it was still a celebration. Sean Stryker is live. He has more on how the inauguration committee worked to make it memorable. Sean? Yeah, they definitely did have to put in some work today. The traditional hundreds of thousands of people that would normally go to an inauguration weren't there. Instead, nearly 200,000 flags stood in their place. The parade, well, that went virtual. Nevertheless, at the end of the day, we have a brand new president. An inauguration like none other. Featuring plenty of celebrity faces, many of whom campaigned for President Joe Biden. Lady Gaga performed the national anthem rocking an eye-catching outfit, complete with a golden dove holding an olive branch. This land is your land. Jennifer Lopez sang This Land is Your Land and America the Beautiful, while Garth Brooks belted out Amazing Grace, pausing to encourage everyone to sing along. People at home, at work, as one, united. Amazing grace. A powerful moment was provided by poet Amanda Gorman when she read The Hill We Climb. We lay down our arms so we can reach out our arms to one another. We seek harm to none and harmony for all. At 22 years old, she's the youngest poet to perform at an inauguration. The parade across America was held virtually and featured popular performers, celebrities, and athletes. Later in the evening, a primetime TV special celebrating America will have a Maryland connection when Kavanaugh Bell, an eight-year-old from Gaithersburg who is making care packages to help during the pandemic, will introduce Justin Timberlake. Now celebrating America that will air tonight. You can check it out on WJZ. It's hosted by Tom Hanks, and of course, it's something you will definitely want to check out. Reporting live, Sean Stryker for WJZ.